Welcome back to my show. This is Raw Vibrant Health. Guys, by the way, I have a new channel. My, all my videos are going on the other channel. It's Raw Rejuvenation. But I'm going to put this on my old one so that you guys will hopefully get that memo and follow me over there. You see all these dragonflies? It's a dragonfly lullaby around here. <laughs> oh, I've never seen this many here. At this spot. This is one of the kind of secret spots, although I think people are catching on to it. But I wanted to just uh, really just tell you, hey, check me out there. And uh, I hope that you guys are feeling great and successful in your journeys in your life you're having movement not stagnant stagnation is not always fun no stagnation you must have creation you know and inspiration and raw rejuvenation i have a 90 day raw rejuvenation transformational program guys so, if anyone's really into uh, really stepping it up, holler at your boy. And looks, oh, so, <laughs> looks like we got the rafters. Uh, they're coming down on the on the river. So I was a little surprised. I was like, who's that? So I'll get it in the shot here. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Half the time they see me, half the time they don't. I'm usually sitting by the stairs over there, down there. I don't go in the water anymore. It's just, I can't do it. Not, if you've been here, you know. It's just not. They're spraying the rice fields every day. Pesticides, they're, they're putting, you know, they're bleaching the rice too. And it's just like, oof. No way. But it's a beautiful place. And it really is. This is like a beautiful creation, this planet, as I've said before. This amazing gift. And they are. Or you can do anything. You can run and jump and play. <laughs> you can climb mountains, you can swim in lakes, you can ski, you can uh, go down the river in a little plastic thing. You can do all sorts of things on this planet. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful here. It's a nice place to come in Ubud if you want to get away. If you want to get away from the absolutely insane traffic and pollution and overwhelmingness. And if you, like me, who's been looking for a house for 12 days, well, yeah, 12 days straight. <sighs> I give up. I'm leaving early here. Going back to Hawaii. Like I was going to do anyways, but I'm going to go sooner. Yeah, it's annoying. It gets annoying always having to look for a place. It's the story of my life. I've slept in thousands of different beds probably. And it's just, I just, I'm very close to just pushing some buttons, making just some decisions, and grounding down into some land so i'm excited about that but it's it's kind of any day now and i know a lot of you guys are on the same frequency as me um we're just waiting 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 on a lot of different factors so that's what i'm doing and i would like to have the right people around and i've got the right there's a there's a good grip of us who all want to be neighbors so it's gonna happen going to be exciting the future is bright and I, it's going to be amazing it's going to be just mind-boggling so yeah so it hasn't been too fun here but i've been making them i always make the most of it i can and i can handle anything i can handle just stress 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 and having to go to five different ten different places in a day and even moving into some of them and then being like you know if there's no windows i don't like to use ac but um sometimes it's right now it's so hot here it's like a high of like 78 degrees at night or something crazy like that so 
Um, yeah, sometimes I, yeah, some, if they don't clean their air conditioner, I like to put the fan on, the fan mode, or, or put on the fan, but if it's not enough, I will use the AC when it's this hot. And a lot of the, if they don't clean the AC, little tiny machines, it's different in, in Asia. They have these little machines. They're really efficient and great, but they get super moldy inside of there. So even if the room doesn't have a lot of mold, the machines have mold. So it's, it's been, yeah, the mold thing is just, it's a never, I've, I've probably looked at hundreds and hundreds of different places in Bali in the last, yeah, four years, four and a half, five years. It just gets so old and then you go to looking at all these other places and everywhere you go it's hard to find a place and and that's not even just the the, the financial part it's like mostly the, the the mold part and getting somewhere quiet for me and, and, and some, somewhere non-toxic all that stuff where they're not you're not close to toxic waste you're not close to neighbors who are smoking cigarettes or or you know just destroying your air around you for your for your healthy uh living uh, blocking your your life force and suffocating you with chemicals and it's so hard so and i know you guys know i'm not bitching i'm just uh letting you guys know what's up and i just wanted to make a really short video because i was like damn oh it's so pretty down there i wish i could there was times when we used to go down there right right blair I know you're probably watching Mr. BTM. Maybe I should have Blair on. He's dude. He's one of the healthiest guys I know. He should have his own YouTube channel. Let me know if you want Blair on. We'll get him on here. It's gonna be great. So yeah, there was a time that I that I've been in here. I've been in there with Emil also. Blair, Emil. I don't know if you're watching Emil, but I love this that guy. It's a special place. I was like, you know what? Uh, even though I don't get many views, you know, why don't I just keep pumping stuff out because Well, I have all this energy and I'm Why not? I'm just here to make this world a better place to share the gifts that I have received uh, the knowledge that I've uh, witnessed and have, uh, have Luckily been able to grasp Because it's so simple. It's just the simpler you are guys with your life with the way that you live your life, with the way that you eat your food, with the way that you um, prioritize things, the way that you, yeah, the way that you, that, like I said, simp the more simple you are with your lifestyle, um, the more happy you're going to be, the more happy you're going to be, and the more healthy you're going to be, and the more joy you're going to have. And then, so, uh, I wanted to remind you guys that that simplicity is great, you know. And then you start like being like me, like today, like so stoked. I, you know, I get I got to go to yoga. There's some sun out here. I'm running around town, putting my posters up around. I got new posters again. Like my third, this one, this one is the best looking one, I think. So I'm just doing simple things, and I got these white dragon fruits, which I know the red ones, most people want to have the red ones, but the, the white ones are, I've eaten more red than white, probably. Oh yeah, definitely. The white ones are harder to come by in Indonesia, and yeah, some people say they don't have much flavor, but when they're picked super ripe, and they're so, so sweet, and they're so hydrating, and so I'm just craving that hydration, and yeah, I have a I, I, yeah, I spent like 14, 13 dollars, 13 bucks, and I got like 12, and some of them are huge, some of them are gigantic, so I'm like, having that to go put into my little, my little box room that I'm renting, <laughs> until I leave, because <laughs> I've given up on trying to find a place, I put that there, I put the, yeah, so, I'm just saying, like, there, there's the, see, there's the kind of, I guess that is negative. I don't dwell on it, but it's like, it's just annoying. Like, you're always, your whole life looking for a place. Because you're not from this planet. And you see everyone around you, they're on the airplane. They're eating this just absolute garbage, like, 
like hospital food. It's probably just as bad. And everyone's just eating it, right? And everyone's just smoking cigarettes. Everyone's just treating their body with like shit. Everyone's just, you know, like, you look around sometimes and you're like, wow, it's so good to be awake. And I was there. I was in that same place, you know. You think about that and you're like, so there's not, not judgment. You're just um, trying to think of how you can best um, go about your life. Hopefully, some people will see the things you're doing and make good changes, right? So, yeah, it's just like, like the little things. That's what I was originally trying to say is, uh, yeah, look at this place, man. The little things in life, like I got these amazing, super ripe white dragon fruit, and and for me, like it's like things like that. It's like you just have a little tutup bersukur, salalu bersukur. That's Indonesian and Balinese, I believe. Yeah, both. Yeah, so. That's the thing. You want to be a little grateful, you know, be grateful for things. And then you will start receiving more, you know. Be happy for what you got because it's only about, you know, it's only about the journey. It's really not about any destination. It's about everything, the whole package, every moment of your life. So seize the day, carpe diem, get into nature, do something nice for someone, Let a, help a lady across the street, you know. <laughs> do something kind for someone especially people who need help and uh yeah give 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 and that's it that's my show as always give me a like a subscribe any of these things it's really easy it helps me a lot i'm totally unable to really be that seen here as you guys know it's pretty obvious it's been obvious for the whole time actually so but i'm happy with what i have 1200 subscribers Woo! yeah 1212 you know it's the start of the new clock let's do this thing peace guys love you guys harmonious wellness and joyous inhabitation inhabitants joyous dragonflies May the joy in you emanate and you know, just keep you happy and may, may your smile be bright, okay? I, I kind of, that was kind of some cheesy stuff, but there's some kind of cool stuff there, so later!